All right, hey everybody, this is Brad the Guitologist. In this video, this is gonna be probably a pretty quick one. Uh, we're gonna take apart a uh, complex, compact fluorescent light bulb, otherwise affectionately known in my household as the Obama bulb. I can't stand these damn things, and uh, I'm sure I'm not alone. These, you know, despite their last longer than five years uh, advertisements, uh, these things never last. And uh, the reason is, uh, these have circuitry in the bases of them um, <laughs> that will usually go out before the actual uh, fluorescent or mercury vapor or whatever the hell they have all in these poison, essentially, um, you know, dies. So let's, let's, take a, let's take apart this piece of toxic uh, household waste uh, and see what kind of parts we can actually salvage from this for use in future projects, maybe guitars or whatnot. Uh, but you'll kind of get an idea, uh, you know, they came out with these and pushed them and, and people thought they were saving the fucking environment by buying these and filling their house with these and then, then in turn filling the fucking landfill with these. They've got mercury in them, uh, they've got the electrolyte and electrolytic capacitors inside of here, uh, there's other circuitry and other things going on, we've got uh, uh, glass, uh, obviously, which is nothing new, but um, still, this is not... This is not something that is a step forward in terms of uh, saving Mother Earth. I'm sorry to tell you guys, uh, but, you know, some of you who push for this crap kind of get what you deserve. You break one of these in your house, it's, it's, you got to basically wear a, um, a hazmat suit uh, to, you know, to get rid of everything that's, that's just poisoned your kid's environment. Um, not so with uh, little tungsten uh, bulbs that we all used to, used to use and grew up with and that worked fine for a hundred fucking years. But now we have to deal with this shit. Look at all that goes into a compact fluorescent light bulb. And you thought it was just a bulb, didn't you? But look at this. Nope. Not just a bulb. It's a bunch of, bunch of stuff in here. Here we have a 200 volt uh, electrolytic capacitor at 10 microfarads, which is a good value actually. If this is good, that's a, that's a good find. We have a couple little uh, capacitors here that we could use for coupling capacitors in a circuit. One, two, three, four of them, in fact. Here's a little diode. Uh, here we have some kind of uh, little inductor. And over here we have another big inductor. Look at, I mean, look at all that goes into this. We went from a piece of glass, uh, a, you know, a little piece of crimped steel, uh, and a tungsten filament, to this and we did it willingly and we did it because we listened to the fucking government I mean I'm sorry for getting political on this channel I try to avoid it every now and then I just I get so pissed off thinking about this stuff it just eats me alive how anyone could think this is a superior way to light your house even if it did last for five years look at the extra e-waste look at look at all this extra e-waste look at the copper that's inside this little inductor. Madness, guys. This is madness. Oh, here's another resistor down in here. In shrink tubing, no less. Uh, there's a resistor there. So we'll, we'll take this resistor out. We'll take this little board out. We'll try to salvage all these parts that we can. And we will dispose of this very, very carefully so as not to kill ourselves um, in, the, uh, in the recycle bin. So anyway... That just goes to show you what you can find in common household items uh, like a CFL lamp uh, that you might be able to use in some of your projects. So hope you guys have enjoyed this very short video. I know some of you probably haven't, uh, but you can you can go cry to someone someone else because I probably won't listen to you. <laughs> At any rate, thank you very much for watching. As always, you guys take care.